Lucas Media, hit the like button, y'all. We got to help grow this channel. But Bad Man Kev, Kevo, son, unfortunately, was deleted last night in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And I got a lot of people from Michigan, Kalamazoo, and they're saying that it happened on the south side. But his son was only 15 years old. We don't know what's going on. Uh, Batman Cavill said he don't know what's going on, but he's offering a reward. I heard it was up to a hundred thousand for any information of what happened with his son. My honest opinion: I don't care what happened. No young man or person in general should be losing a life. This young man was only fifteen years old, still a child. I got a son that's 15 years old, and honestly, you haven't done nothing at that age. Not old enough to drive, not old enough to vote, not old enough to really get a a, a job, and you know you can't you can't do nothing at that age. And it just it's unfortunate that we keep going through this every time, where you all you next you, you see a young black man losing his life, and really black kids as well. And it's just it's just a normal everyday thing in our community. It's like I don't know. It's almost like going to Chick Fil A or something. Like it's just it's just normal. You know, you wake up. I wake up. People wake up more and go to Chick Fil A or go to their favorite breakfast spot. That's how it is with these young black boys and men lo losing their life. I hate that for Bad Man Kevo. No parent should ever have to bury their child. For some for some senseless shootings, we got to learn to stop putting the guns down. Me and one of my homeboys was talking about this not too long ago. It's wild because back in the day, whenever there was fights, yeah, you fight it out, but nobody thought about shooting. Now that's the first thing that happens, and it's like just like the young brothers shot 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 off the Kansas City Day Parade shooting. It's like how did it get so bad? That you see somebody and you open fire amongst a group of people. Everybody see you. There's cameras everywhere. But we have this, you know, this is why we need more fathers in the home, honestly. Because we got a lot of men out here thinking very emotional and not thinking for a split second. But just like with this, I don't know what happened, but it gets to the point to where somebody opened fire at this young man. Or it could have been at somebody else and hit this young man. And it's like, for what? Now now, now his family is going to always be healing from this this pain. He gone. Whoever did it, they you know they're going to get caught at some point. Their life is going to be gone, and their family is going to be impacted. It's sad, man. It's really sad. Even in our community, or our quote-unquote hip-hop community, look how many artists have lost their lives. Look at the Chicago Drill era. Look at the last, I would say, five years. And some of them, uh, even outside the drill era, but just some of the artists have been getting deleted on camera. You remember what they did to Nipsey? On camera. It was some footage or whatever. Like, it's just, it's senseless. We didn't got to the point to where, in our community, we shooting first, then we might ask questions later, but then is it, is it worth it when you sitting in a cell? Just like the O Block 6 or whatever. All of them, and I, I'm going to keep saying this, they talking about, uh, Mu, I was talking about he on the pills, dude, you got less than a 9% chance you finna be sitting in a jail cell the size of a closet the rest of your life. Is it worth it, y'all? I get it. You know, you see somebody, y'all get into it, but man, put the guns down, for real. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it, man. Prayers to Ben Man Cavill, man, some condolences. What y'all think?